Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan from Seaway Sports Lounge, and tonight is another episode of Leafs Timeout. And tonight's episode, we're going to be doing things a little differently. This is basically kind of a state of the union where the Maple Leafs are over the last 30 games. Now, as we know, the Leafs had a very tough October, and obviously they've turned things completely around, and they are now one of the most dominant teams in the league. So we're going to go over basically some injuries as we always do we're going to go over a trade that actually happened yesterday and then we're going to look at the lightning game that happened and then after that i'm going to hop on to nhl.com and the stats we're going to take a quick look and see how they're actually doing after the last 30 to 33 games so with that let's just hop right into it so in maple leaf news rasmus sandin unfortunately suffered an injury yesterday against the lightning he actually suffered a neck injury. It happened just before the third period began. We, I didn't actually see the play. I watched the game. I didn't actually see what happened. But anyway, he apparently is out for now. He will not play in the Philly game tomorrow at 2 o'clock, by the way. Uh, and there's no timeline or update from Sheldon Keefe. He hasn't said anything regarding when he'll return, but hopefully he will soon. Because uh, Math Rasmus Sandin has become a very important piece to the Leaf defense score especially with all the injuries they sustained over the last number of games. So we'll have to see if he will return sooner than later, and hopefully it's not too bad. But anyway, we'll keep in, keep everyone posted to see what happens. And good news on the injury front, uh, Kali uh, Yarnkronk actually returned to the lineup last night. He looked quite good. He was suffering from a groin injury that happened a number of weeks ago. Anyway, he's returned, and they put him on the Marner-Tavares line, which I think is a good fit for him. I remember watching him in Nashville because I used to draft him quite often, especially for depth help on my pools. Anyway, I think he is going to fit well in that area. Now, I don't know if he's top six, maybe top nine, but they're going to try him there to see if they can continue that line rolling with Marner and Tavares. I mean, he is a veteran player. He's been playing for a number of years, so we'll have to see if that works out. But yes, Yarn Kronk's back and... That's great to see. The Maple Leafs made a small trade yesterday. Now, the trade deadline freeze, sorry, Christmas freeze that's going on right now. It happens every year. They actually moved Men Dennis Malgan, uh, the underutilized uh, forward they've had. He's been sitting in the press box quite often, and he has played. And let's be honest, he hasn't really worked out well. This is the second stint with him that he's played on the team, and it just didn't work out. So we ended up moving him to the Avs for a player named Dryden Hunt. Now, I've never heard of this player i've looked him up a little bit and the two words that keep coming back is physical and competitive now apparently he hasn't had much scoring success this year with the abs but apparently he can score in the ahl quite often this is obviously a depth move you don't want to lose a player obviously for nothing and then picking up this guy this guy i believe is carrying a cap hit of seven hundred twenty-six thousand dollars, and he's only got the one year so let's be honest it's not that much of a a risk here so they're doing that just to move someone i believe for a favor as to getting more play time playing time but we'll have to see yeah it's good i'm glad to see that they're making those moves and making sure players are being sent to teams maybe if they don't fit in our mold then they'll go out to the out to other teams that can find room good for the leafs to do that now leafs played tampa bay last night they looked great against the lightning i mean toronto always plays well against the lightning uh, they brought up a, a number that the Toronto Maple Leafs usually bring their best game against the Lightning itself. Were the Stanley Cup champions for two years in a row. And Toronto looked great against them in last year's playoff. But unfortunately, as we know, it didn't work out. But to last night, they played and they won 4-1. to one. Toronto won 4-1. to one. They owned the Lightning all night. By I mean, by the third period to start, Toronto was 28 shots to like not even 10. It was unreal. I've never seen that much domination by a team against the lightning but they did it the defensive effort that they're doing they've bought into keith's message of doing this defense first which i've repeated on a number of these episodes is clearly working they are getting players back now which is awesome which is like tj brody's back so they had a they had a solid defensive effort they ended up getting jordy ben back from injury they also have uh lily grin did, who didn't seem to have any major injury with his last game, apparently he had his arm and hand all bandaged up at one point, but I guess that didn't mean anything. He played last night, looked good as always. So they're getting that defensive effort from their forwards, they're getting it from their def the current defensemen they have, even with Riley out and Muzzin out, they're getting the job done. So excellent all around. Murray, of course, strong in nets. He's played really well since he's come back with him from his injury. He had that one wobbly game a few days ago, but you know what? That happens. It's the ebb and flow of a season, but 
I can safely say I'm very pleased with Murray's performance. We will see where this takes us. Now, what we're going to do next for the final part of the video is I am going to show you, I'm going to hop on, as I said, to this is NHL.com. That's their stats section. Now, this is the Maple Leafs. As you can see, here is, don't mind me, I'm going to look over here. This, These are the points, goals, assists. These are all the stats. Austin Matthews currently right now. I mean, the core four, as everyone calls them, look what they're doing. 38 points, 38 points. 36 points and 30 points. I mean, these guys are doing their jobs, okay? They are, like I said, they've bought into the defensive system, but they are scoring and getting the points they need to win these games. And on the power play especially, they're they're just dominant. I mean, they've tried all kinds of things, even five forwards on with no defense, which I don't think they're going to do again. They tried that last night, and it could have been a disaster. Anyway, Safe to say it didn't happen after, especially with Tampa. But, I mean, you look at these points. The core four is doing great. Then you got Michael Bunting at 23. And Morgan Riley's been out for a number of weeks now, and he's still sitting at 16. And, I mean, Kerfoot's at 15. So, I mean, they're getting relatively balanced points, which is what we want to see, especially in a season. The goaltending over here, I mean, Samsonov is just doing amazing this year. I had, as I said before in other videos, I was so happy when I heard he was signed because, let's be honest, this goaltender is a great goalie. Why Washington didn't sign him, not a clue why, but that's their concern, not ours. We got him. And now look what he's doing. He's he's doing excellent at home. He's got a 1.98 goals against. He is dominant. Murray's having a great year, 2.34. And even Eric Shelgren is 2.67. So they're getting the goaltending, which we all thought might be the Maple Leafs Achilles heel this year. A number of pundits, many fans, including myself, thought the goaltending would be, and clearly things are turning around. Uh, they obviously had those major injuries to the two goalies, which happened. But anyway, they ended up getting that sorted out, and look what they're doing now. You got rookies here, like Pontus Holmberg. He is coming out as a really good player from the AHL. I mean, he's got seven points, but it's his defensive game. And Mac Hollowell, another one. Really good defensive game. These guys are playing defense first, and then they help with the offense later. Can't ask for better. I mean, that's what you want. And and the depth moves that uh, Kyle Dubas has done by picking up Victor Mete, bringing in uh, Jordy Ben, bringing in other players that are, you know, maybe even re-signing Wayne Simmons. These guys are all going to be valuable players at some point this season. Obviously, injuries have bitten the Leafs pretty bad this year. They've had relatively light injuries over the last number of years. Their goaltending was the only spot that usually took a bit of a hit, and it was usually Freddie Anderson who had his issues with his knee. But now they were getting hit all over the place, but now it's being resolved slowly with Riley coming back. And all that. But, I mean, if you look at the goals here, William Nylander, 19 goals in 33 games. That guy, people wanted to trade him. And I'm going to say that right here, right now. There were so many people that felt he should. And I know his defensive play was questioned, and he had, and I'll be up front, I did see things that he did, especially in those playoff games, that were questionable in terms of finishing off checks and all that which is clearly something you have to bring into consideration. But Nylander's paid to score. To be honest, he's paid to score. He's paid to get 19 goals. Matthews, 17. Tavares, 14. Mitch Marner, 12. But I mean, again, core four doing their jobs. Most of the money's tied up with these four. There's a reason for it. And then it just drops right off. The goals just drop right off from Bunting and Ball all the way down. But this defense first is actually helping. Assists, there you go, Mitch Marner. So if he's not scoring a lot of goals, he's getting a pile of assists. 26, as per usual. He's a he's an assist guy. He drives the play. He does what he's supposed to. Uh, and he's also becoming actually a really good penalty killer, which is incredible because, I mean, you know, a guy of his skill set is normally def uh, offense first, but they're obviously trying to get him into the penalty kill role, and it's working. They did it last year to an extent, and he was able to score a lot of shorthanded goals. And this year, 26 assists, he's, you know, the big difference this year, I think, is this number right here. Matthews with 21 assists. This guy, this superstar, I mean, he has a share of his assists. But let's be honest, he is usually the scoring first, which we all want. But I think he's become a player where they've told him, you need to play a little more complete. Kind of like what happened with Iserman years, whenever they were trying to make a run or make, I remember talking a long time ago. 
and they had a big meeting with him and kind of told him, hey, you know, you got to play a more complete player. It's great you get 120 points. We don't make the playoffs. So, I mean, and it looks like Matthews is starting to change his game. He's starting to play that all-around defensive game, which he was known for when he first got there. But he's playing it more. He's got, you know, scoring. He's doing all what he's supposed to. So, Nylander, 17, 16 for Tavares, Bunting, 50. So, I mean, these guys are getting, it's all around good, good spread of offense currently. So, the Leafs have turned it around significantly. Here's the save percentages, quick both goalies. Let's come back there, 9, 929, 925. Shelgren had 898, but that was also when the defensemen were really damaged, really, really injured. So, that has to be taken into play. But the, the two main goalies now, their two starters, are doing what Kyle Dubas was hoping for. Now, hopefully it'll translate into the playoffs, but that remains to be seen. But in the first 33 games, impressive numbers. Quite happy with So that is the stats. Now, I'm just going to give you just my quick view before we end the, end the video here. Obviously, in October, things looked really grim, okay, since the Ducks game. We all saw that Ducks game. We saw that road trip. It was a now it was early in the season, very early. Safe to say I'd probably push the panic button in my head a little too early. There were things that were indicated didn't look good. I mean, the play didn't look good. They were not engaged at all, which we all know all these. Things. Now, if you look, they are 20 and 7 and 5 or 27 and 6 for their games. 20 wins already. They're winning games outright. They're beating teams on their streaks. I mean, this team is looking so good right now, and they're in the top three of the NHL, where they should be in the regular season with that much talent. Even with the depleted defense, it's still really good. And these team, this team is scoring at will again, like we knew they would. My takeaway from all this is that I'm extremely happy they bought into Sheldon Keefe's system. Many of us thought Sheldon would be fired after that road trip. They stuck by him, which is uh, applaud him. His system is working. The players want to play it and they look dominant. They are running the table with some of these teams. And it's just like last night showed me 28 to 7 or 28 to 8 where the shots after the second period was done against Tampa. That's just almost unheard of, but they did it. Hats off to the Maple Leafs for the turnaround. The season, barring any other major injuries or a sudden collapse for some reason, I think we're in for a treat again. I think it's going to be a really great season. They're going to get well over 100 points. That's my opinion. I don't know what will happen, of course, but that's what I think is going to happen with them. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy the the winning. Let's enjoy, enjoy watching the good hockey that they're providing us. And then we'll see what happens at the deadline. And then, of course, the playoffs later in later April. So I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, but I just was, it just had to be done. I was really hoping that this would happen. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more of our videos, please hit like or subscribe. If you want to get more notifications of when we do new content, please hit the not notification bell on the right. And with that, thanks very much. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good night.